one's going to be on Handbrake, uh, the command line version, or Handbrake CLI. Uh, if you ever use the GUI, okay, it's actually good too. It's just that the, the thing that I hate about this is I have to go click on this stupid thing, find the folder and the files or whatever it is, uh, which takes a long time, but I really hate doing that uh, every time. And the reason why I like using this over um, FFmpeg and all that is because FFmpeg, you have to figure it out like... Um, different flags for different devices and stuff like that which I hate doing but this one has you know the the presets for different devices already so I mainly use this iPod one here because I have like a really old iPod the iPod of 5G um, and if you use this for Android you can use it too you know like your Android phone and stuff like that and they have it here and that's the main reason why I use it because they have the presets uh, you can actually create your own presets here you know doing some save and stuff like that but we're not going to use the GUI. Uh, this is just for your visual. Okay, I'm going to use the command line version, um, which is just called Handbrake CLI. It should be in your repositories. And how would you use this? Well, let's bust this out here. Uh, the first thing is, if you want to get a list, let's say you're not, you didn't install the um, the GUI portion. How would you figure out like what presets they have? Well, if you do Handbrake CLI here. Uh, dash H for help, and you want to search for um, what's it called? Whoops! You want to search for um, preset. What the hell is that at? Yeah, right here. They have two options for preset. Okay, and this one is um, uh, there was a dash small Z is to list it. So list the available presets. This capital one here, this is uh, to use it. Okay, so lowercase z and capital Z is two different things. So what we want to do is handbrake um, dash uh, small z, and this will list out you know the um, what is that our uh, presets that we have, which are basically these ones over here that they have here, right? But you can see it from the command line here if you don't have the GUI. And all you gotta do is just say, okay, I want to use this iPod here, and you just copy the iPod or whatever. It's case sensitive, so you have to copy exactly how it uh, uh, comes out. And how would you use this? All right, to use this, uh, I got I got some examples here. All right, so we'll list out some files here. We're gonna use this um, screencast I made earlier, but we just type in Handbrake CLI dash I for input so the input is this file here and the output dash O is um, it's gonna be in an, a um, was an mp4 but it's mp4 but it's in a m4v format right so what you gotta do is you know give it a name like m uh, was that w3m dot m4v and that's the output format, right? And we wanted to use uh, the preset, so we do dash dash preset equals in quotations iPod, right? If I spell that right, iPod. And that's pretty really it, you know. You just run it, and it'll do its thing. But we're gonna cancel here. We don't want to do it right now. And it should give you a uh, WM3 dot uh, m4v or whatever format you use okay and that will be your final thing when it's done that's pretty much how you would use it but although you don't, you don't want to type out this whole thing every time so what I suggest you do is make your own function and put it in your bash rc file so mine is like this okay let me show you what I have here functions I just call mine uh, ipod 5g and basically what you want to do is give it a name, it could be any name you want um, since I have an iPod 5G I give it that name and the command is just handbrake you know our input and the file whatever it is output uh, the same file name but uh, it'll get rid of the extension like uh, we have MKV or something like that it'll get rid of that and it'll place in uh, M4V and the preset that we want is either iPod or use whatever you want, like you know, they have like Android um, or Apple, whatever it is here. All right, that's pretty much all you, all you got to do. And when I'm converting it, let me uh, delete this one here. 
trash W3M F4V. All right, so when I'm using this um, function, I just type in iPod 5G and then the file name, and that's pretty much it. It'll do its work uh, quicker, right? Uh, instead of doing this stupid thing where you have to hit uh, the source file, find the stupid file, where's that? And that was a waste of time. I, I hate doing that. Anyways, that's the um, Handbrake CLI version. Uh, use that much quicker in my opinion, but up to you if you want to use the GUI or the command line. All right.